Hey everyone, it's Chris again. Sorry if that's off a little bit. Uh, I added some new stuff. I can look straight up and straight down now, uh, which is a new feature. Uh, if I go play a mission, uh, we can see I added uh, the numbers popping up, enemy body parts going flying. Uh, and now we have Cosmic Dust items found. Cosmic Dust is over here. Uh, it's used for adding modifiers to your guns and items, I'm sorry. Uh, space Gems are over here, and that's used to improve legendary items. Uh, both of which you will need uh, later in the game, but it's probably worth it to put them on your runes uh, early in the game, because runes will be useful even even later on because they don't have stats anymore that's a new thing so these runes right here all even though um, yeah it's self heal that's great it doesn't have like five damage or ten armor or anything like that like looter die one did because that made runes obsolete later in the game when you could get one with a lot better stats oh I'm getting shot so I uh, I got rid of those stats but they can have modifiers and they can have legendary uh, passive bonuses so those two things will be on runes, so it makes it worthwhile to upgrade them even while you're leveling. Otherwise, you save up your gems and cosmic dust and go crazy when you hit max level. Uh, like Looter Die 1, there is no uh, leveling system per se, and in fact, unlike Looter Die 1, there's no magic find um, from leveling. Right now, there is no leveling at all. There's a power bar for shooting, uh, and that's it. Let me just restart that level. Uh, and I'll see what items I got. Uh, the power bar I really like. Uh, it definitely adds something to the game. Uh, let's try this. Try shotgun. This one fires three bullets. So it's a little little spread out. I don't know if it's actually more damage per se, uh, but more likely to hit them with a good amount of damage than the shotgun unless I'm close. So I like how accurate it is. Uh, we'll check what items I had after this run. I'm trying to think of what else. I mean, the space gems and cosmic dust are going to be a big thing. You're going to be able to. Also, um, deleting items is no longer going to be something you really want to do unless you're like mid mission. Uh, instead, you're going to want to turn them in to get cosmic dust uh, and potentially sp uh, space gems from destroying items. So you're going to have a, a reason to like leave stuff in your bag. Like right now, I half the stuff I don't want. So. I'd, I'd most likely delete most of it. Um, so that's an, another new feature that I'm, I'm going to add soon. Uh, working on the next group of enemies too. The next room will have these enemies plus some new ones. I'm going to make the levels shorter so you will have more boss fights. Um, but that, that means that you won't have to spend like 15-20 minutes to get up to a boss. Now it'll take like 5 minutes. Uh, and then you can fight that boss. That means more checkpoints. Uh, so there are going to be a lot more uh, worlds uh, for you to go through because it won't be 10 levels like Looter Die 1. That's another uh, like huge game design change. Uh, there will be a social structure, kind of like the home, but it's the space station that you may have seen in another video. Uh, and that'll be a, like a social hub for people to play um, and see each other like just doing things like turning in their items and quests and that kind of stuff. Uh, so now there's like a, a place for you to see each other online. Um, so that's, that's pretty good. And you're forced to go to it. Uh, you're able to interact there. Like those are all the things I'm planning on doing. Gosh, I really like being able to shoot straight up and down. I got so used to not ha having to do that. But now it's like, oh my god, I can like just jump over and under people and take them out. And fail at it right there. Uh, I should probably put on some items. I am like getting my butt kicked right now. So yeah, let's put on let's put on some gear. Put on this red chest piece. And oh, is this one? No, that one's worse. Way worse. Um, nothing else so far. I haven't gotten any special items yet. Let's give it another run. Let's see what we get. Do do do. I really could use some hearts. Hearts give a lot more health in this game uh, than Looter Die One. And I'm thinking about adding a passive legendary ability that makes hearts uh, give you more life. There are some hearts. It's percentage based. Uh, there is a modifier you can get to make hearts spawn more frequently. So if you combine those two things, it's, it'll be pretty good. 
Um, and this game's all about allowing the player to become overpowered. That's my goal, but you start off really weak. Um, I still haven't gotten anything good. I don't have any modifiers right now in my gear either, so that's not helping. Uh, once I put in the vendors for Cosmic Dust, you'll be able to modify your gear very easily. Uh, and getting mods means I can do things like, alright, I want to get more legendaries, I want to get more mods, or I want to find more Cosmic Dust so I can make mods. Gives you a lot of options. Um, not really seeing anything better here. There's a little more damage. Let's go with that. Uh, but as you can see, Cosmic Dust is not that hard to find. Um, and then I lost connection to my computer, so I guess that's the end of the video. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Um, yeah, that, that happens sometimes. It's not an error in the game or anything. It's just sometimes internet goes down or something. Good luck and have fun, guys. Let me know what you think.